This weekend, the Montgomery Half Marathon and 5K will bring thousands of runners to town who'll be winding through some of the capital city's best known and prettiest communities. Hardy Sellers is the race director and he's joining us live now from downtown around the fountain, which is one of the focal points of the race every year. This is a race, Hardy, that takes runners through some of Montgomery's most historic areas. Kind of walk us through where we should expect to see runners this weekend. You bet, Bethany. Uh, you leave, we leave around the water tower and uh, we head up uh, right past the police station and then from there on we really take a tour. You're going to go through Oak Park, you're going to go through um, Cloverdale, so you're going to see people all through downtown Montgomery and then of course we got the Perry Street uh, Hill, we call it as we go over the bridge over the interstate and then come down to downtown Montgomery, finishing in Riverwalk Stadium on the Jumbotron. So it is a very picturesque and a very historical, um, important run to be honest. It really is, and it's beautiful to see all the different areas of Montgomery. Whether you're running or not, though, there are some things you probably need to know, even if you're, especially if you're not running, if you're going to be moving around the downtown areas or the Cloverdale areas over the weekend. What's your advice to folks who are in those areas and might run across some of these runners and walkers? Well, we've got the course very well uh, closed off and marked. So if you're driving downtown, if you see a, a, a blockade, just slow down. There are runners and there'll be ways and the police will help you safely get around there. So you can get everywhere you want to go unless you want to go to Riverwalk Stadium. Then you have to park a little ways and walk. But, uh, but everything is marked off really well. We have over 100 people on course for safety and security. The police, the fire department all do an incredible job keeping everybody safe and informed. It is. Yeah, you do a great job of making sure everybody knows exactly where to go and how to stay safe. Hey, if you are participating, you're going to be in store for some pretty cool bling and swag at the end of this run. <laughs> Tell us about all that. We always try to do incredible swag this year for all participants. They're going to get a really nice um, custom shirt. They're going to get a little tote bag that's really, really nice to have. Also, a uh, really 100% uh, cotton custom beach towel. And then for the half marathons, they're also getting a really nice metal drink cup. Uh, everything custom with our color, uh, with the, everything emblazoned with the logo. So I think everybody's going to be really happy with the swag. I think so. I know every year you try to highlight something that is representative of Montgomery. This year you're highlighting the fountain, which is why you're standing at the fountain there. This is one of my favorite events every year, Hardy. You do such a great job putting it on. It's always really well organized and well done. So looking forward to it. We'll see you Saturday. I appreciate it. All Thank right. You. Race day is a Saturday. Online registration is closed, we should tell you, but you can still register in person at the Race Expo and Packet Pickup. That's tomorrow at Riverwalk Stadium.